Hey, it's Tom here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now, I was doing some farming off camera to get a certain shield that I wanted. Guess what? Didn't get it. I killed about 50 of these low freak knights. They decided, you know what? You're not getting our shield, so I can't be bothered anymore. I'm just going to go back into it, and we're going to go try our Cyros again. I'm going to use, uh, instead of trying to dodge everything, I'm just going to go for the, uh, the sword and ball tactic, which is just stay close, block, and then hit when you can, which I think for uh, a Cyros is pretty good because you can't parry him anyway, so... Honestly, I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Also, I just realized we're already in the right place. I didn't need to just go into that bonfire. So there's no loading screen, which is actually really good. So we've got quite a lot of health. And we're not even in, but also we're offline uh, in case anyone cares. Because for some reason, I couldn't log into the Dark Souls 3 servers, which happens occasionally. Um, it's annoying, but it does happen. But um, yeah, so we're offline. So it doesn't really matter about Ember in and stuff. Uh, but I will because it gives you extra health, which is going to be useful for this fight. Especially since we're blocking uh, with just a regular shield. Because what I wanted to do was get a um, was get a low freak knight shield and then level it up to like plus five or maybe even like plus eight if I could. No wait, plus eight is chunks, so I'd need what would it be? Eight? No, seven, eight, and nine is chunks. So yeah, plus six I guess. But uh, we don't have that. And I'm not leveling up the regular Night Shield because it's not that good in terms of stability. But the Low Frick Night Shield is is really good for stability. And it has really good lightning resistance, which is good for another optional boss later on. But hopefully I will get that at some point. But for now, I'm just going to use this. We are a little bit overweight when we do that. So let's take off the gloves. And there we go. We're all good. So I'm a little bit annoyed that we lost health there because now obviously we've got one less Esther's Flask to... Um, to do, whoa, that was almost too late <laughs> to do this with. But um, hopefully this is enough. What's the, what is the stability on this? 48. See, I think on a low freak night shield plus 10, the stability is like 70. I might be wrong about that. I think it might be 60. I'm not sure, but it's, it's higher than this, put it that way. And it's really, really good for the Nameless King fight. Oh god, because uh, he does lightning damage and it is really resistant to lightning. I've still got the gold serpent ring on, I've just noticed, but... We'll leave that on. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this first try. I practiced it on my other character, who's on New Game Plus, and did it second try. But obviously, that character is quite a bit stronger than this one. But I'm just going to do the same tactic. I've got the same weapons, just a different shield, uh, which was just stand underneath him and block stuff. Well, that was not blocking. That was also not blocking. Okay, good start. I also had much better Esther's Flasks on my other character, but, you know, don't worry about that. Alright, he's going to do this again, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to line this up and do a heavy, and then roll backwards. I'm just going to go for hits wherever I can, and just try my best to not get hit, and if I do, to actually block it. See, because you can block it 100% because he doesn't do any other kind of damage. I mean, obviously this does, but... See, it broke our guard, but we took no damage, so it's fine. We need to stay underneath him. Doing significantly less damage than I was on the other character, but, you know, we should be alright. That breaks our guard every time. That could be really dangerous if we mess that up. But hopefully we don't. I need to start being a bit more brave, because this is going to take forever if I don't. Right, I'm, going to, you know, I'm going to top my health off just to be safe in case I get jumped on, because that can be a one-shot quite easily. He really likes this move today. Like, what is he doing? Okay, so that's a two-hitter, but it, does, it breaks our guard. We're all right other than that. Right, let's get some swings. Let's get two swings. Okay, okay, right, we need to charge this up. There we go. Alright, almost a thousand damage. Pretty good. Now, we've got to do the same tactic, but he's a lot faster now. And he breaks our guard on most of his attacks. Oh, and we lose lock-on basically all the time. Oh my fucking god. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's so frantic in this phase. Oh, I could have hit him there. That's my bad. No, 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 no. Stay locked on. Stay locked on. That's when things go wrong. I'm 
going like full sword and board. I'm not risking it. Oh no. Whoa. Come on, we got this. Oh! I stopped blocking for a second. I forgot it was a two here. Oh no! Oh, that was lucky. We just got to stay underneath him. What? That that move pisses me off a lot. Because that's some bullshit. Alright, we're okay. We're alright. I actually forgot to Ember as well. I just noticed. Oh, that did not miss. What? Alright, you need to seriously not get stuck in the corner there. That's bad news. You really don't want that. Alright, we're at the halfway point. This is taking very, very long. Holy shit balls. Alright, we're going to be fine. Oh, that move! Oh, that really irritates me. That's such a cheesy move. Because it just hits basically guaranteed. It done it again! Stop! He loves that move. It's so cheesy. He can't help himself. He just has to do it. Spin moves don't bother me. You know, try spinning. That's a good trick. Whatever. I don't care. The charge... That move! There. That is... There's no warning for that. Alright, I could have hit him there. That's my bad. I didn't. Oh, we blocked it that time. <laughs> There's literally no warning. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, we're slowly whittling him down. I can Ember as well, which is good. Because that is like a, a bonus heal almost, you know? Come on. Oh, God. We got this. Oh, I got greedy. Oh, God. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, oh shit. Oh, come on. Come on. Stay cool. Stay calm. Stay collected. I keep missing. That's the opposite of what you want to do in this fight. No, 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 no. Not today. Where's he going? He's leaving the boss arena. I'm not having it. No, 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 no. Don't get cursed. Don't get cursed. Please don't do that to me. Come on, do the spin move. Do the spin. Yes, there is. Oh, Jesus. I can't see what's going on. Oh, fuck. Uh. Come on. We got this. We got it. This is it. He's done. Let's go. Sword and bald. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Sword and bald. Stay underneath him. Block as much as possible. Try to roll out the way of the unpredictable attack. Wow, we have a lot of help when we're embered. I've just noticed we 100% should have embered before we went into that fight. But it didn't matter. We just about made it. <laughs> We had no Estus flasks left, but we had an Ember that would have fully healed us to how much we're on now, so. Unless we got unlucky and got one-shotted by that un like I always forget the word when they're when they're gonna they show you that they're gonna do an attack. Uh it's not presenting, it's like Oh, what's the word? I really I really can't think, but I'm so glad we did that first try. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lie, that's why there's been no Dark Souls videos for like a month. Because I was like panicking about this boss. I'm really, really sorry it's been that long. I should have just got into it. But the other day I was like, right, I need to do. The I need to figure this boss out because I've I've literally fought it one time before this, and not before this, before this series. I mean, 
Uh, and I was like, right, I need to figure out the best strategy. And it was like, well, you can't parry him, so parry and shields are kind of pointless. And it was like, well, blocking is pretty good because he only does physical damage. And it, you can block 100% of that. Uh, Vigor, I think we'll leave that on 30. So we'll go for... We'll, we'll hit this to 30, and then we'll put endurance to 15. Because that's a nice... Ooh, it's not an equal number, but <laughs> it's a nice rounded off number. It's a five or a zero, so I'll go for that. And then we'll go for just probably boosting strength and dexterity after all this. Uh, and we'll leave that on 15. Because then it's, an, it's half of the vigor as well. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. There we go. All right. And now we can sell Osiris's soul. Which is... Oh, I've gone and buy a box now. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't have this much stuff. Uh, so we can sell this for 5k, this for 12. I will show you what you can get off of his soul in a second. I don't know if we can upgrade this. I don't think we have enough chunks. Uh, oh, we do. There you go. There you go. Zwei Hander plus 7. Very nice. And is it already refined? Yes, it is. Uh, they're already done. We do have an Estus shard. So now we have 12. Grey Rat is still not back. He may be dead. <laughs> And we might be able to squeeze one more level out of this. I'm going to take this ring off. Um, actually. Damage from backstabs. I don't think we really need... I mean, the Sun Princess ring can be good if you're like... For endurance purposes. I guess we'll chuck that on for now. We don't really need the, the gold serpent ring. We're not farming anything. I don't know if we'll be able to squeeze one more level. We can. We can squeeze one more level. Let's do strength. Chuck us up to 411 attack damage. And if we go two-handed, 444. What a nice number. All right. That was intense. I was scared. I was very scared. We, we took it slow and steady. We went the tortoise route. We didn't quite have the damage to do it, you know, just smash the shit out of him. I probably could have done it faster. There were a lot, a lot of opportunities where I could have hit him, but hesitated. Which is something that you don't want to do. Now, we need to go back. Where is he? Because there's actually another item we can get here to open up another optional area, which I'm not going to do just yet, because that's like a... In my opinion, that's an end game area, because it's got the hardest optional boss uh, in the base game, and it's just all round difficult. So, we'll leave that for now. Alright, here we are. We're going to go through here, get the items that we need. There's an armor set for here as well, I think. And there's a second... Uh, not a second, sorry. There's a, a secret area through here as well. That also has an optional boss that is very difficult. These are all dead, I believe. Yeah, they would have got up by now. Uh, yeah, so there's an item to get to a, a secret area. And then there's an actual secret area here as well. Oh, we don't have the parrying shield on. I've got too much range, snake boy. Alright, so I believe this is a gesture. It is. And I think if you come back here later on after you do the secret area that that gesture unlocks, you get an armor set. So this is like a false dead end. It's like, hey, you tighten that scale, let's go. Never mind. Secret area. Let's go. So this area is, uh, well, it's a secret area, like I've said about 12 times now. <laughs> this is the untended graves, but this is actually... People are not sure what what it is, there's a strong theory that this is like a different timeline where the Age of Dark is like in effect because like everything is just pitch black. But this is a very difficult area, especially at the level I'm at. Uh, I could do it probably, but I just don't really want to. So we're not going to do this area just now. We will come back and do it at some point because it has, I would say, probably my favorite boss, or at least my favorite optional boss in this game. Well, I don't know, Medea's kind of cool. In the base game, I would say that this boss for this area is probably my favourite. But, um... For now, we are going to go back to the Dance with the Boreal Valley and start making our way to the next main game boss. Once we do this... Uh, sorry, once we do the main game stuff, I will go and do the optional bosses. Uh, it may turn out that we have the Dark Souls remaster running at the same time as this series because I was an idiot and didn't upload this for a month. But we'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, so... So, we're going to make our way through Lothric Castle. I should be able to put the gloves back on for this outfit now that I've got the 
parry and shield back on. Yep, put the L gauntlets back on. Favorite armor set. I think I mentioned that already, but I just I really like this armor set. It's so bulky. So there's quite a difficulty spike in this area. And uh, for this, you just want to run in and kill this guy as quick as you can. Oh, no. So there is a cheesy way to do this. I'm going to see how it goes and might... Maybe do it depending on how the fight goes. Because they have a lot of health. Oh, my God. I have too much quiz for this man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was pretty close. All right. So the cheesy way to do that, just for people that want to know, if you go through this door, he won't... Like, he's not allowed, for whatever reason, a coding or... Well, obviously it's coding, but there's, like, area boundaries. He will not come past here. He'll just stand here looking at you. And uh, you can get little cheeky jabs in. And uh, he will swing for you, but it's, like, easy to get out of the way because he just can't move pretty much. All right, so let's start making our way through. There's, there's a bonfire, like, right around the corner. I might just run to it. Because it's, it's fairly easy to end up getting killed by the knights here because they're really strong, especially the great shield ones. You want you need to take them out, by the way. They heal the knights. So you need to take them out. The great, the great shield knights are, in my opinion, way more difficult than the regular knights. Yeah, I'm just going to go, actually, because, yep, I just was about to say because I'm pretty sure there's another one. Oh, it's not going to let me do it, is it? Oh, yes, it is. I forgot you can light... Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Can't parry your shield. Oh, God, I'm messing it up. Someone has been summoned. This is not good. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, no, they can't be summoned because I'm offline. Oh, okay. Shield? No. I still want that shield. I'm not going to... Literally, any boss that you can't parry, I will be using, like, a blocking shield. So I would really like to get the Lothric Knight shield if I can, but... It's just that drop rate. There's also a uh, farming opportunity for the sword that's going to be replacing the Zweihander. But um, that is not quite yet. What is through here? I never... Uh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just goes back down. Oh, jeez. It's surprisingly hard. Like, I mean, I'm used to it at this point, but it's like surprisingly hard to commentate over the top of live gameplay, especially a game like Dark Souls. I mean, I'm used to it now, but boss fights in particular, you'll notice sometimes I'll just go really quiet. It's, it's so hard to keep commentary going while you're fighting a boss that's like just trying to kill you constantly. Constantly. I've got hiccups. So this can be like quite overwhelming if you're not careful. I can't remember where, but there's bits where like loads of enemies jump down. There's also through there, there's a giant angel knight. But uh, there's also a secret up there. Wow, just chaining the, chaining the critical hits. Uh, I think it's down there. I think that's just like an ember and then loads of enemies jump down. So I'm going to give that a miss. If you go in here, there's like an angel guy around to the right. But it does lead to a secret area. And I think it leads to an ember shard, an ester shard. I don't remember. I'm going to give it a go. I'm also going to shit my pants as I go. Oh, shit. Yep. I think he can jump up. I don't, I don't remember though. Uh, there's a secret somewhere. There it is. So you got this. Oh, you get the winged knight armor set. Okay, yeah, there we go. And then I think this is a ring. No, it's a shield. I don't remember things. Okay. And you got this beautiful, beautiful painting of an angel knight. Or a winged knight, even. They're not called angel knights, but that's... That's Varty Vidya's fault, okay? Sound about the angel theories. Um, I think he dual wields axes. Like, two little axes. Well, I say little. They're like actually great axes by the looks of it because he's so massive. Uh, I don't think you can flatten him. Oh. Nope! You cannot flatten him. Oh, Jesus. I want that item. 
Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go. I don't think he follows you out here. I'm just going to... Oh. oh. No, he definitely followed you out here. Oh, shit. That was a backstab. Don't lie. Oh, my God. He rolled. How? How does such a big fellow roll? Okay, he's actually not that hard to beat. Oh, shit. That was bad. Oh, God. I was going to say he was about to shoot lasers at me, and he did anyway. Oh, we got... I didn't even know you could get those. I genuinely never knew you could actually get his weapons, but it makes sense. There you go. Winged Knight Twin Axes. I've never had those. Like, I've beaten him before. Like, it's not like a, that was just, oh, let's do it because it's on camera. Like, normally I avoid him. Like, I've beat him before, but I've never had these. Wow. I, I can't believe I've never had these weapons. What's the... What does the special do? Oh, you spin. Okay. I thought maybe you'd throw him like he did. But I guess they didn't come back to him. He just had spares. All right. Cool. Weapon I've never had before. Didn't even know it could be dropped. But there you go. We learn something new all the time. We're learning together. So if I remember rightly, there's a guy that throws stuff at you that stops you from healing. So you want to be careful. Oh, Jesus Christ. I forgot you were a thing. Oh, well, that seemed like it shouldn't have got me, but it did anyway. I'd really like it if I wasn't getting smashed in the face. Oh, my God. That was so lucky we were on stairs. <laughs> Please stop shooting me. I don't know. My voice went so strange then. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Oh, he got me. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's a bonfire, like, right here. Yeah, there we go. Wow, we're at 25 minutes already. We might have to end it here. Because, like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the next bonfire and fight. Yeah, I probably could. But I'd be rushing and I'd end up dying. But, um... Oh, my God. My nose is, like, unbelievably itchy. I don't know why I suddenly got like this. Maybe it's... Hey, fever kicking in. I have no idea. So this area is quite difficult if you explore it properly. Um, but I will show you the quickest way to get through it. But right now is not the time for that. So I'm going to quickly go backwards, go pick up these items that are down here. And uh, once I... Oh, they've respawned. Of course they have. Because I forgot that that's a thing when you sit. This guy with fire arrows is very annoying. Oh, yep. Yeah, well, that's just annoying. God, he hits like an actual like ton of bricks for an for a guy with arrows. Like normally it doesn't do that much. Listen, you don't get involved. Just stop. Right, there's a guy here. You no, know, there's literally there's no point holding the parry shield because like we can't parry him. Not as far as I know. So we might as well just go two-handed. So we're just gonna be rolling out the way with a shield in our hand. We might as well not be holding it. There's a couple of items. I'm pretty sure people climb up from the sides. Or oh, just, you know. Do that. Wow. Imagine this sword actually smashing you in the spine. Like, it would not feel good. Now I can parry. Apparently I can't. Because I'm terrible at timing, apparently. That was a shield bash. That was just me not pressing the button. That was also a shield bash. That was me not pressing the button again. You know what? Let's just... Let's just kill him. Instead of... Oh, well, we can't heal ourselves. So I just remembered that. Okay. Well... <laughs> for some... I don't know what happened there. It's like when I try and parry on purpose, I can't do it. But when I just do it without thinking about it, it just... It happens. It's... Like... It's weird. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, the lo I was farming Lothric Knights... Before this video, so their moveset's like ingrained into my, <laughs> in my brain at this point. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. Next episode, I will show you uh, what I think is the quickest way to just get straight through this area. I mean, if you want to explore, feel free. There's plenty of items to pick up, but there's also plenty of enemies guarding them. So next episode, I'm going to go through what I believe is the fastest route to get straight to the next bonfire. And hopefully, the Lothric Knight towards the end will drop his sword. Because I always replace the Zweihander at this point in the game with the Lothric Knight great sword because it is very 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 good and um i want it 
and hopefully I get their shield as well because that's good for going against bosses that can't be parried because the parrying shield then becomes useless. Although you can go two-handed. But anyway, I'm waffling on way too much. Dark Souls 3 is back. It's going to be back to being a regular thing. Uh, and then we are going to move on afterwards to Dark Souls Remastered. And then once we finish Dark Souls Remastered, I might come back to Dark Souls 3 to do the DLC. Uh, let me know what you think about that. I'll ask you again at the end of this anyway and at the end of Dark Souls Remastered if you want to see the DLC for this and obviously I'll do the DLC for that as well because I actually never played uh, the DLC past the fight against uh, Artorius in the original Dark Souls so that'll be interesting as well but I am again waffling on that will be it for today so thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below or subscribe to the channel for more videos any other stuff is massively appreciated as always I'll see you in the next video and goodbye <laughs>